NCTV on NCTV. I've been working here a little bit over a year and it's been a wonderful experience. I have one of the best jobs in town. Um, I get to work with the community, people of all walks of life, and I've learned a lot and I've taught a lot. Essentially what I do is uh, I set vision for the station, implement that vision. I manage the employees here at Northampton Community Television. I'm a public liaison for the station. So about 16 years I've been in community television and I've been executive director of Northampton Community Television since its inception um, as a independent local 501c3 in uh, 2007. I've been uh, with the organization for about three years now. My job as uh, project coordinator at NCTV is really a mixture of a lot of different things. Uh, <clears throat> we all wear a lot of hats around here. So on any given day, I will be uh, doing a production, uh, training interns, uh, training the community, troubleshooting problems. It really encompasses a lot of different things, um, which is nice and it also uh, allows me to uh, exercise a certain level of creativity that uh, a lot of other jobs don't have as well. I've been here at NCTV for a little over a year, maybe almost a year and a half now I guess. Um, as production coordinator, I spend a lot of time working with members of the station um, on either projects that they're working on or ideas that they have for projects. We welcome anybody and everybody who is interested in video production, television, and media. Um, you can come in here, become a member, take any of our classes, learn how to use equipment, learn how to edit, um, and learn how to make a complete production all here at your fingertips. We are a, the, the equivalent of a modern multimedia library. We are an educational resource for the community. We're an economic development resource for the community. We're one of the few places where um, voices can be heard that are outside of traditional uh, media structures, corporate media structures. Um, so we provide training and tools and education and physical space. Uh, that's very important, as are the staff here, who are probably the best, the, the greatest resource. We've done everything from uh, youth film uh, workshops at Forbes Library to I actually teach uh, a high school AV class. It's really interesting to see uh, what uh, youth bring because they grew up with this technology. So I'll be learning stuff from them. So it's not just I can teach them about the fundamentals of production, but they're also showing me the newest technologies and they're showing me uh, some tips about doing things. They get a lot out of it, but we also get a lot out of it ourselves. We are funded by Comcast subscribers. A small percentage of their subscription fee goes towards our facility. And we are here as your media center. One of the strongest opportunities that, that interns have here is that we, we offer um, the opportunity to, to experiment, to, to learn a lot of different things hands-on. If you want, are interested in getting involved with this kind of work as a professional, then uh, you need to have that, that inner drive. Uh, otherwise, the work is really not suited for you. When there's that drive there, um, you, you don't necessarily need to take a, a semester-long class to figure out how to do something. I've had a lot of people come in here and say that they've had a um, better experience here than they have at school. They learned more here, we're more um, hands-on with them, um, and people get more practice here than they do at school. If you have that sort of, that drive inside of you, it's a, it's a great place where you can, you, can, you can play a little bit. And that's really important. Um, the aspect of playing to learn. With the equipment that we have available, you can 
you can get an experience and an, edu an education that's you know beyond what you could get from from colleges. My advice to any volunteers or interns that co that come through here is really make it what you want to make it. Make your experience here what you want to do, what interests you have. We get a wide range of people from journalists to graphic designers to videographers. Um, everybody has something to contribute and any, everybody wants to learn a little bit more about that trait. Uh, there's so many times that uh, individuals will get caught up in just little meaningless tasks and we don't want that to be your goal. We want to have you flourish and uh, learn and uh, become educated by your experience here and aid the community while you're at it. Having access to the equipment and um, having access to the equipment all the way through from pre-production to post-production and then having the final product on the air and on the inter internet um, I think that's really valuable. The first thing I saw was the studio with the, the big news cameras. And I was in school, you know, uh, and we had equipment there. But, uh, I mean, there's at least as much equipment here, if not more. Not putting down stick or, or uh, you know, a degree uh, program. I, I'm happy I did it. I did learn a ton. You know, I had one professor, and that professor has 50 kids and uh, students, I should say. And, uh, you know, it's like he spread a little thin. I, I feel like when I come in here, I almost, I almost feel like I have like four professors. I have to say I feel like I've learned as much as I would in a semester of school. This is more like what I would have wanted it to be, but not expected it to be. I've been interning at NCTV since the end of May. So I have friends that interned here and they all liked it. Right now at school I'm majoring in television radio and I've always liked, you know, TV and movies and film. The actual creating videos and the producing and editing and that part is still relatively new but I'm really enjoying it so far. So my name is Annie. Do you want me to talk about myself? Smith College has um, a series of internships called Praxis Internships and it, for a summer they'll pay for you to do an unpaid internship. I'm interested in being a journalist and not really TV production but we all journalists need some kind of video skills so it seemed really relevant to what I want to do and it was a great way to build skills that I wouldn't get at Smith otherwise. I've learned a lot of things since I started interning here. The physical programs and, and software that you get to learn. You really get to do all of it here which is one of the things I love is you're not just like sitting behind a desk or making coffee, you're actually like producing projects. So, so far I've learned how to use editing software and I've learned how to upload videos to YouTube and how to put together videos for YouTube and um, I learned how, how to use cam DSLR cameras and um, all the audio and lighting and equipment that goes with making a video, which was really cool and not something that I otherwise would have ever learned. Well, I think I've loved like, the freedom to think of my own stories and I've loved that every day is kind of different, so you're not really sitting at a computer all, all the time. I think it's really great that I have the skill of video production because I think that if I didn't know how to use cameras and didn't know how to make videos, then I wouldn't be as qualified a journalist, so I think I'm, I'm really excited to have those skills. The first main project I took charge of was the Tuesday Farmer's Market project that um, I set up meetings with people. I went down to the market on Tuesday and I got uh, B-roll and, and interviews and I put it all together and it, it just felt really good. I would say that it's legitimately one of those things that you think is too good to be true, but it's not. Since we've gotten, you know, these new DSLR cameras that we're working with, a lot of the projects are really fun to work on just because when you get to edit and you, and you see how, how nice it looks, you know, there's a really satisfying feeling that comes from that. The trans performance from last year came out looking really, really good, um, and, and that was a fun thing to be a part of. I think my favorite project so far has been uh, our collaboration with the Young at Heart Chorus. It was really testing and pushing the boundaries and pushing the envelope of what community media can achieve. Uh, it was a seven camera digital SLR shoot uh, in which we had a whole bunch of volunteers, a whole bunch of staff uh, that really came together and made a really, really professional looking all around great project. Some of my favorite moments at NCTV have been shooting the live concerts that we've done, um, like Trans Performance and Young at Heart Chorus. Um, just being a part of a, a live multi-camera shoot and knowing that my part is really important. I've just learned so much about people and 
what they do and it's just been fascinating. My favorite part of working here is just learning from really interesting people. I'm teaching them and they're teaching me. The diamond theory, uh, which was, uh, it was uh, two 14 year old Northampton uh, students who uh, spent about 100 hours with us creating a nine minute original short piece. One of the really rewarding things about it was just the passion that they had in, um, in, in, in making it happen. And you can, you can tell because it's really high quality, it looks really great. Other projects in, uh, include the Labyrinth project that we recently completed. It's a documentary about the building of a labyrinth inside of the local penitentiary, the local prison system. Um, it's built by inmates there uh, who are collaborating with the UMass um, Landscape Architecture Department. It took us about a year, year and a half to complete. Um, it's a very unique topic and, uh, and we're really happy with, with the results of that as well. If you'd like something to air on our channel, all you have to do is go on our website and fill out a program request for air. It's basically a sponsorship form, so if you're um, you have a short film that you made or you have a documentary that you made and you want to get it out there, um, we're happy to air it on our channels. It's a place for expression and that can be political expression or artistic expression um, and it's also a place that, that helps, helps build community for everybody. The only way you're actually going to learn is by doing. If you come in here and you watch or you take a class but then you don't go out and shoot something, then you're never going to learn. So come up with a short film idea, produce it, get it out there. Um, and do as many as you can. The more you do, the more you learn. NCTV is important because it, it gives um, anybody in the community access to uh, you know, professional grade equipment that you would have to spend thousands of dollars to get otherwise. There's so many artists and musicians and filmmakers that live in Northampton or the surrounding towns that have never even been here. Um, and we could be really, really helpful for them. You can learn anything from After Effects to web design to Photoshop to, you know, vid video editing. So it's, it's like a big playground for me and I am constantly learning and constantly teaching other people what I learn and it's, it's awesome. It's really more because of the, the inspiration that either somebody at the station or um, a member of the station has you know, that's, that's the driving force. It's a wonderful place, and it's a place for free speech. It's a place for people to um, express their ideas and opinions and, and just express themselves visually. It's like an entry fee to free speech, you know? Oh, you wanna, you wanna get your message out there? $1,000 for the, the program, $2,000 for the computer, $1,000 for the camera. Okay, now you, can, now you can produce a video that people will watch. Now, let's just do it. Like, let's, let's, just, let's just get it done.